Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create streamlines in the dead water region. And <clears throat> so I'm going to create another streamline object. Okay. Um, and before that, you know, I need to create a location from which I can release particles. And that location has to be within the dead water region. So I've already created that location. And so if I look at it, okay, it's just a line. And I gave it the start and the end points of the line. And the start and end locations I got um, by going into probe. So what I did was, let me turn off streamlines and turn on the velocity magnitude and zoom in here. And I clicked on probe and I said, hey, you know, what's the X location here? And it tells me what the X location is and what the Y location is. Then I went in here and again, I got the X and Y locations and I plugged it in here. So that's how I got the line. So let me do a long Z. And so I can get rid of the velocity magnitude um, and turn on the first streamline object I have, create a second streamline object. And now I'm going to release particles from this line that I created. And I'm going to keep the number of points small. And you'll see in a second why that is so. And I'll say preview seat points. And so it's going to show me you know, particles released from here, what path they're going to follow. And I'll say apply. So you can see that you know, there is kind of a spiraling out effect that's happening, which I don't know is, uh, is physical. Um, and that's partly because you know it's challenging when you have a low velocity region to integrate particle paths through that. You can go in and change the um, the tolerance on the integration. So, I if I change this to ten to the power of minus eight, I get you know I mean it, it changes a little bit. So you can see it's it's sensitive to the integration tolerance. And I can also look at not only where the particle is going, but where it came from. And for that, I go into this geometry um, tab, and I say direction forward and backward. OK, so it's showing where the particle came from. Also, and here you see it's, it's telling me that the particle came from the wall, which is not quite accurate. Um, and again, that's because of the challenge of you know integrating the particle paths in a low velocity region. Let me turn off the line location and let me click along Z. So you can play around with the settings and you know look at the streamlines within the dead water region too. And it looks like there's another dead water region here, and so you can create another location to see what the streamlines are in that location. So I played around with that and you know you can see there seems to be recirculating region there which uh, might not be physical so you might you need to re, um, refine the mesh to make sure that you're capturing these recirc recirculating regions accurately.